Hi, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Francine Serbino, and this is the first of a sequence of videos that is coming to help you practice and exercise your skills to play castanets. If you have never played castanets before or you're new to the channel, I strongly advise you go to my video that is called How to Play Castanets Part 1, where I go into a really deep detail, how to put your castanets in your hands, what is the correct way which castanet goes in which hand. Yes, there is a difference. Um, so go watch that one first. Um, but if you know how to play and you just want to practice exercise or warm up, just join me on this video and we're gonna jump into some exercises you actually might see on previous videos just because I use them for the past 20 years. They work really well, so I continue doing them when I start warming up and then we're gonna try some different movements. So let's put our castanets on. Remember just if you have a mark on your castanet that goes into your dominant hand. And while I'm preparing here, if you like to uh, support the channel and what I do to continue doing those free lessons and exercises and videos, please subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. I really like reading them and um, I try to reply to all of them. This castanet is from Castanuelo del Sur. This video is not sponsored. I really just like the castanets a lot. Um, this is the Cotton Capriccio model. So today we're going to start with our exercises. I will just do a quick recap um, when I'm talking about numbers so you're not completely lost. From your dominant hand, bottom fingers, finger one, finger two, finger three, finger four. When I say five, I'm talking your non-dominant hand. You can either click with both fingers in the middle or choose one of the fingers if you prefer. I like to play with both. That's five. Um, when we are connecting the fingers on your dominant hand is ri. When we're clapping on the left hand is a. Both hands I call it ta and we are clacking the castanets against each other. It's a chi just so you can follow through, okay? okay? So for the first exercise, we're gonna click once with each hand, alternating the fingers. So one, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. We're gonna slow down first, and then we're gonna speed up. Seven, eight. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three, and faster. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now if you want to challenge yourself, what we're going to do, we're going to move the arm as we play the castanet. If you're not ready, it's okay. Keep your arm in here, first position. Otherwise, follow the movement I'm going to do. To start, we're going to go with the arm going from the side of your body, coming back in the center of your body. Okay, so it goes on the side, come back from the center. While you're playing, one, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. Let's try it together. Seven and eight. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, left. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. One, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four. 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 Sorry if it went a little bit faster in between because I thought, oh, maybe we should speed up. <laughs> I didn't say, so let's try now slightly faster. Okay, same movement, just slightly faster two times. Seven, eight. One five two five three five four five. One five two five three five left. One five two five three five four five. One five two five three five again. One five two five three five four five. One five two five three five four five. 
one five two five three five four five one five two five three five four five okay now we're gonna do two times each finger on your dominant hand one one five two two five three three five four four five same thing first keep your arm in first position slowly seven eight one one five two two three three four four one one five two two five three three five four four five one one two two three three four faster one one two two three three four four 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 now we're gonna move the arms again if you're not ready stay here first position if you want to challenge we're gonna go first from inside and then open to the side of your body now Remember your arms, try to maintain so your wrist is not going too much up like this in this position or down. You're trying to maintain the line. Same with your elbow and your shoulders. Do not contract and get tense because it's much, much harder to play. And when you're playing up here, be careful for your hands not to be pointing up to the ceiling because then it's really hard to play castanets like that. And you also don't want it to be dripping down like this because it bounces back. So you're trying to maintain the same shape that you had here. It's the same shape you have either with one hand up or one hand down. Okay, let's try that. Seven and eight. One, one, five, two, two, five, three, three, five, four, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, and left. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, faster. One one two two three three four four one one five two two five three three five four four five one one five two two five three three five four four five one one five two three four one one five two two five three three five four four five one one five two two five three three five four four five. Now we're gonna try to do the same thing, three fingers. So you know the drill, starting with your right hand, first position here, seven, slow down, eight. One 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 five two 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 five three 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 five four 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 five one 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 five two 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 five three 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 five four 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 one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 okay now we're gonna do both hands we're gonna go both hands going from the outside coming back inside okay if you're not ready stay in first position seven eight one 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 five two 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 five three 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 five four 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 five one 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 five two 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 five three 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 five again one 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 five two 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 five three 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 five four four relax your shoulders one 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 five two 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 five three 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 five four 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 five okay so now we're gonna go into the alternate exercise those these are the best exercises you can do when you're skipping fingers when you're trying to practice your ria and it's not perfect this is the best exercise. I do it every single time when I'm teaching or when I'm warming up before I dance. That's very important. Always do your alternate exercises. They are the best to get your skills to the next level. So what do I mean by that? We alternating two fingers from the bottom, then the two fingers in the middle, and then the two fingers on the top with five. We'll repeat each group four times. One, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, change. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, change. One, two, 
one, two, one, two, one, change, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, change, three, four, three, four, three, four, beat faster, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, and change, one, two, one, two, one, two, and change, two, three, two, three, two, three, and change, three, four, four, five, three, four, five. Okay, now this is quite a challenge, so let's start slowly. We're gonna alternate circulating our hands around our body as we do the alternate. So one hand will stay here, the other one in front of you. We are gonna be doing one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five. I swapped hands. Two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five. Swap again. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. More than welcome to stand up. Actually, it might be easier, but it's easier for me to record sitting down here than moving when I'm on my own. So we're gonna do it on the chair, but it's up to you. Okay, let's start with your hands here. If you're not ready, keep your hands in first position. Seven, eight. One, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, swap, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, swap, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, swap, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, swap, two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, one more time, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay, now we're gonna try to connect the alternate fingers. So instead of just tap, 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 you're trying to slide and connect them. This is what we do when we're doing Ria. So you're trying to slide them. So I usually like to practice as I'm scratching something, but we are gonna practice two finger at a time. So usually the top fingers here, it's easier, but you still wanna try to do the same with the bottom one. You might not get a perfect clear sound every time. You see that I don't, but you have to keep trying until you get better and better as more as you repeat, okay? Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Middle fingers, one, two, three, four, top two fingers, one, two, three, four, bottom two, one, two, three, four, middle, one, two, three, top, one, two, three, four, bottom, one, two, three, four, middle, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bottom, middle, top, you can clearly see that my bottom two fingers, they don't do really well when I'm connecting them and that's okay. You're just trying to stretch, to stretch your fingers and get used to the movement, separating them. It's an exercise to practice, not for you to be playing when you're dancing or performing. Um, now we're gonna do alternating three fingers. So we're gonna do one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. Top three fingers then, Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. So you're always grouping four repetitions for each group of fingers that you're playing, okay? First position, slow down. Seven, eight. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, top fingers. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, bottom fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, top, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, faster, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, top, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, and bottom, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, top, faster, one, two, three, Top, bottom, top, okay, good. This one we're gonna try to connect straight away in first position. So we are gonna be doing the same thing we did with the alternate with two. You're trying to slide your fingers and connect, slightly easier now because we're using three fingers, four time each group of fingers, okay? Seven, eight, 
One, two, three, four. Top fingers. Bottom fingers. Top fingers. Bottom. Top. Bottom. Top. Good. Okay. So now we're going to go to Rias, which is actually what we usually play when we're performing or putting that into a music. So Ria, it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's what you're aiming to achieve when you're playing castanets. So your fingers are warm. We have warm up nicely. Now we're going to tap slowly. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, a couple of times. And then I'm going to speed up all in first position. Okay. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Faster. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Faster. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Good. You can see I still miss fingers. It happens sometimes and that's why we slow down, slowly get faster and you keep practicing so that happens less and less every time. Another thing I need to tell you is when you're clicking your left or your non-dominant hand, if you are using two fingers specially like I do, sometimes this tends to be really, really loud because you have more power using two fingers than one and the sound kind of get um, at a higher level than your dominant hand. We should try to keep them all the same. So what I mean by that, instead of me doing, it's almost like you hear an accent on this hand. You want them to try to be all of them leveled, okay? So now we're gonna try to connect the fingers. So now you're trying to slide your fingers as you're trying to catch something. So you have to stretch your fingers and bend as you're trying to tap your castanets, okay? We're gonna do ria, 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 Ria. Keep playing at this pace, okay? Seven, eight. Ria, 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 Ria. Ria, 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 Ria. Ria, 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 Ria. Okay, we're gonna move our hands again. We're gonna do from inside to outside this time as we are playing Ria, okay? Seven, eight. Ria, 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 Ria. Ria, 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 Ria. Ria, Ria. Okay, now you gave it a try, things to think about it. When you get up here, do not let your shoulders go up, relax, make sure they're pointing down. We're coming down, your elbows are actually pointing behind you as you move. So don't let your elbow drop this way and play like this. Instead, you're trying to push the elbow behind you. So here I'm pointing to the side of my elbow. Here I'm almost trying to point behind me as I'm going outside. Obviously, I'm a flamenco dancer, so that's very important if you're dancing, if you're just playing to put it in a music and you just want to move your arm around, really be free. You can do whatever movement you want or if you're going to do a fusion or something, that's fine as well. But if you're looking at the more correct posture that can help you playing, I would first try to do fixing that your elbows and your wrist are aligned. And then once you're doing in those positions and your rias are not missing, not skipping, then I will adventure moving my hands whatever way I want. Just because sometimes you're trying to play in different positions and it's not working, you might be because you're not quite ready yet to be moving around and um, challenging some of those positions, okay? We're gonna do it one more time. Seven, eight, ria, ria, ria. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Two, three. So 
up to this point is how I warm up almost every single day in every class that I teach or before I perform. And then from here on, I will start practicing some of the connections that I might be using in the um, number that I'm performing or what I'm focusing for a class, because now we're putting together Ria with something else and trying to exercise and practice that. So if you're looking to improve your skills, do that warm up and then go ahead and do some of those exercises. Different videos I'm going to post are going to have different exercises you can try. And I'm also going to be helping you how to link that into a music if you want to. So keep tuned for that. But for now, we're going to be practice a pretty simple sequence. We're going to do Ria Chi Ta. So Ria is what we did. One, two, three, four, five. Even if your Ria is not perfect, keep doing, keep playing, power through, practice. If you repeat that a couple of times a week, I would suggest at the very, very, very minimum once a week, ideally every day. <laughs> but if you don't have the time, it's fine. Ria chi ta. That's what we're going to be doing. So recording that Ria is one, two, three, four, five. Chi, one castanet against the other. Ta, both hands at the same time. Okay? So slowly first, we're doing Ria chi Ta. Ria, chi, ta. Ria, chi, ta. Things to think when you're doing a chi, do not clash the castanets and move them away like this. Try to cross your arm. It doesn't matter which arm cross. Some people like to actually make the motion downwards. Some go up. It depends what I'm doing with my hands. I usually click going up but I might do it going down depending how fast I'm playing, okay? So we're doing Ria Chi 1, Ria Chi 2, Ria Chi 3, Ria Chi 4. Sometimes now, instead of using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for each number of your finger, since we are playing connected and now it turned into a Ri and an A on your non-dominant hand, I might use numbers to actually count how many we have done because when you're trying to put that in a music, if you're not dancing, when you're dancing, sometimes it's easier, but if you're putting that in a song, in a music, you might have to count how many you're doing it, um, just to help you to keep track, unless you know the music really, really well. So we're gonna do four of each of those exercises. So I do Ria Chi One. When I say one, it's actually Ta, that I'm playing with my hands, but I'm counting the number one, so I keep track how many I've done. So Ria Chi One, Ria, Chi two, Ria Chi three, Ria Chi four. Okay, so now we're gonna connect the Ria Chi Ta that we've done four times. We're gonna do four times of a different exercise, but with a similar melody. So it's gonna be Ria Pi A, Ria Pi A. So Ri A, one, two, three, four five that we were practicing before, ri, a, p is your dominant hand, a, your non-dominant hand. So, ri, a, p, a, ri, a, p, a, ri, a, p, a, ri, a, p, a. Okay, now I'm going to count again, ri, a, p, one, ri, a, p, two, ri, a, p, three, ri, a, four. The number now represents an A. So I usually change the last note to a number to count. So this time I'm gonna do four of this new exercise. Ria P one, Ria P two, Ria P three, Ria P four. Now let's put them together. Ria Chi one, Ria Chi two, Ria Chi three, Ria Chi four, Ria P one, Ria P two, Ria P three, Ria P four. So again, after Chi, I'm clicking both hands. After P, I'm doing just the left. Okay, let's try it slowly. Seven, eight. Ria Chi Ta. Ria Chi. Ta, ria, chi, ta, ria, chi, ta. Change. Ria, pi, a, ria, pi, a, ria, pi, a, ria, pi, a. Again. Ria, chi, one, ria, chi, two, ria, chi, three, ria, chi, four. Change. Ria, pi, one, ria, pi, two, ria, pi, three, ria, pi, four. Okay, I almost did a chi there. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do 
a different exercise, similar, but now we're doubling the rias. So we're doing ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, four times. And then we're gonna double the other one as well. Ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a. Okay, four times each of them. Seven, eight. Ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, ria, ria, chita, cheng, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, change, ria, ria, chi, one, ria, ria, chi, two, ria, ria, chi, three, ria, ria, chi, four, ria, ria, pi, one, ria, ria, pi, two, ria, ria, pi, three, ria, ria, pi, four. Okay, so now we're going to connect them. We're going to do ria, chi, ta, ria, chi, ta, four times, and then ria, pi, a, ria, pi, a, four times, and then change to ria, ria, chi, ta, ria, ria, chi, ta, four times, ria, ria, pi, a, ria, ria, pi, a four times, okay? If you're lost, just keep track of which number you are, one, two, three, four, in each position, and what we're playing is always going to be showing on the side of the screen, so you can follow there if you forgot what is going to come, just kind of have in mind where you are, okay? Seven, eight, ria, chi, one, ria, chi, two, ria, chi, three, ria, chi, change, ria, pi, one, Ria P two, Ria P three, Ria P four, Ria Ria Chi one, Ria Ria Chi two, Ria Ria Chi three, Ria Ria Chi four, Ria Ria P one, Ria Ria P two, Ria Ria P three, Ria Ria again, Ria Chi one, Ria Chi ta, Ria. Chi ta, ria chi change, ria pi a, ria pi a, ria pi three, ria pi four change, ria ria chi one, ria ria chi two, ria ria chi three, ria ria chi four, ria ria pi one, ria ria pi two, ria ria pi three, ria. Ria P4. So that was quite a lot for you to get in one day. If you got lost at some point and you couldn't keep up, no problem. Go back, watch the video again, do the warm up part, and keep trying the second part with the exercises. The following videos are going to have similar warm ups, some of them are going to be slightly different, and we're going to change always the exercise of the end so you get to practice different things so you don't get sick and tired of doing the same thing all the time. But mainly with castanets, there's going to be a lot of repetition, but then we're going to put speed, we're going to add coordination with different arm movements, and we're going to try to add this into music as well. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see something different and you want to suggest something, please leave a comment. I love reading them and reply to them. To actually, I have replied to all of them up to this point, but I like to keep in contact with the community. If you have any questions, again, ask me, and I'll see you on the next video again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.